Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Intensity at a fever pitch, just about set to kick it off in the SEC. Thanks for checking out the pregame show, NCAA College Football Action, coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. over 92,000. We're at Tiger Stadium, where everyone is revved up for this exciting contest. And now it's time for the coin toss, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. Hardy from the one. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. Seniors probably think it seems like yesterday they took the field for the first time. Today, they take the field for the last time. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. LSU's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now, and he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. From their own 28-yard line, second down. to his receiver and he's tackled right around the 42 yard line superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball uh, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver and the result again a nice play for the offense from their own 42 yard line it's first down He's at midfield. Makes it to the 44. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good looking ball carrier. defense on the field. They're getting very tired. From the 29-yard line, first down. He's taken down at about for Irby, he eclipses the 1,000-yard mark for rushing. This is why they'll be flying him to New York for the Heisman presentation. It's been a landmark year for this guy. Gains his way to the 13-yard line. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 13-yard line. And he just gets rid of it. And this play is number eight on the drive. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. 
And down he goes around the 12 yard line. Third and nine. Ball on the 12 yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Throw in left. LSU is looking to go up by three. It's up, and it is good. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, time to get you up to date from Lovett. This was a tight one to the very end. The Red Raiders get the W, 30 to 28. Reese, 3-0 here. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Broussard from the two. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Out of bounds at the 33. And a quick throw. Tackle made at the 34. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. and he fumbles the football. It's picked up by the defense. And he's taken down around the 24-yard line. What do you think about that last turnover, Kirk? Way to be heads up out there. That corner just made one heck of a play recovering that fumble. They put some points on the board in their last drive, and they'll start this one in position to do much of the same. The defense has their backs against the wall here. They're really going to have to get aggressive if they want to keep the offense from scoring any points here. That makes it second and eight. From the 23-yard line, second down, LSU holds a field goal lead. And he's hit immediately. That makes it Larry, Larry, Larry. Fires to the tailback. They'll bring him down at about the 15-yard line. That pass play went for nearly enough to keep moving, but they're stopped just short. Boy, that's tough. That is always a tough pill to swallow. Having to leave the field, knowing how close you came to converting on third down. You got to get those. Kicks away, and they tack on three points. They line up to kick this one away. Broussard takes it at the four. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. The Tigers really took care of business on defense that first time out, Herbert. One of the great traditions in college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their mind. They just need to go out there and play. Quick throw onto the receiver. And they make the stop at the 40-yard line. At the 40-yard line. First down. Keep it up, defense. Keep it up, guys. Mike 22, he's coming. 22, he's coming. Mike, Mike. Tackle right around midfield. First down. Two, 
He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. The receiver needed to get a step or two further into his route to have any chance of snagging that pass. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. Throws complete, he's got room to work. And he is drilled at the 38. After a quarter of play, we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. LSU leads it 6-0. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Mark 22, Mark 22. Here we go, here we go. He's under pressure. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. It's second and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Receiver screen. He's tackled around the 34-yard line. Quickly, and it's almost intercepted. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. Anderson is hoping to boom this one down the field. It's a short kick. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every they settle for field goals. I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. LSU is up by six. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a deep That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Makes it to the 31. So he keeps it and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Gets out to a 25. their own 45-yard line. First down. Goes over the middle, intercepted. And he's tackled around the 48-yard line. Carter's got the first of what should be many tackles to come. He's a heck of a player, really explosive and quick, a sure tackler, as you can see on that one. He takes it right side for a good game. Good for a game of six yards. That makes it first and ten. Mike 22, he's coming, 22's coming, Mike, Mike. He makes it to the 38-yard line. That's a D. That brings us second and nine. I'm coming for you, son. I'm coming for you, son. Mike 22, Mike 22. Yeah. He passes it. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. 
Grand Mix for the 18-yard line. First down. We gotta get to the ball, see? We gotta get to the ball. Let's keep moving. Mike 22, he's coming. 22, he's coming. Mike, Mike. Inside the 10. Got it to the senior. Big play, and it's first and goal. That makes it first and goal. He's under pressure. Looking right. Intercepted. And he tackles him hard at the three-yard line. Well, he was facing a big pass rush. The ball had no chance of being caught by one of his teammates. That's what pressure will do for any defense. It's first down. This is a dangerous situation backed up against their goal line. LA with a six-point lead. He gets out to about the six-yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll, That'll make, make it second, second and seven. seven. Watch Wiz, watch Wiz, watch Wiz. Watch Wiz. At 58 is the mic. Well, 58 is the mic. <laughs> Throws in a hurry. He's knocked out of bounds around the 32-yard line. Well, I tell you, these guys have some skill players who can make things happen. They picked up an enormous amount of real estate on that play. First and 10, ball on the 32. studio. Reese, what have you got? Terrific top 20 matchups today. The Mustangs deliver the perfect connection and a touchdown. SMU in front, 24-10. And for the Tigers, well, if that score holds up, they're going to have a golden opportunity here with a win to move up in the pole. Browning has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Broussard from the three, and he's taken down at the 32. Fred, everywhere we go when we travel all over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread or the pistol and hurry up tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. Pass complete and taken down immediately. About four yards on that play. He took what the defense gave him that time, which is okay. It keeps the yards to go a little bit more manageable. Second down and five. Ball on their own 36. He throws it. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. That's a great tackle at the 44-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Caught with room to work. He steps out at the 47-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 47-yard line, it's second down. Fires out to his wideout, and he's leveled at the 48. That'll bring up 32. And this crowd is going absolutely crazy. He's at the 40. Makes it to the 37. That makes it first and 10. 
From the 37 yard line, second down. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown, Mizzou. They looked awesome on that play. A well-thrown football and a great effort to get the ball into the end zone. Tacks on the extra point. It was an eight play, 68 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yard and just rip the heart right out of that defense. So our score 13 7. Hardy fields it at the two, and he's tackled at the 30. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. LSU, up six. Waits, he fires right side. He's got his receiver with nobody around him. Right down at the 34-yard line. So on first down, they go to the air and pick up huge yardage. Well, that was just a well-executed play. They picked a perfect time to stretch the defense with a passing play, and it worked. Just throws this one away. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From the 34-yard line, second down. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And down he goes around the 22-yard line. LSU's going to have to use their second time out of the hat. They come out in a five-wide set. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. I think he could have taken a risk down the field, but he played it safe instead, and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle made at the three. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. They're at the three. It's second down. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. The Tigers using their third and last timeout. They'll lose a yard on that quarterback keeper. Here's the eighth play of the series. LSU is up by six. It's up, and he got it. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Time to get you up to date on what's going on in the top 25. This is a game we've been watching closely today. The Sooners unleash their aerial assault and find Pater for a touchdown. The Mustangs are on top, 27-17. For LSU, wow, they got a golden opportunity now. With a win, they're going to move up in the polls this week, if that score holds up. With only a few ticks left on the clock before halftime, I would expect they'll just squid kick this one. Tackle at the 26. It's been a well-fought game as we head to the half. 16-7, Tigers. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. 
Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I'm not sure many people saw that one coming. This team was supposed to take... I thought this was your lock of the week, Reese Davis. Uh, it was, and that shows you why I should leave the picking to you, because uh, <laughs> this, this was not a good selection. I didn't think there was any way that this team would come into halftime and be down by two scores. Uh, nobody did. I mean, I, I don't see how you, how you got to this point. I, I don't even understand it. I don't understand what we just saw, and we sit here all week and we break down strengths and weaknesses and they're definitely better and stronger across the board but they haven't found a way to put things together and you know you get 30 minutes at the half it's time to give the you know rally the troops speech and get everybody going and and try to understand that you got to come out in the second half and you can't be flat you can't take this opponent for granted because you've already dug yourself a pretty big hole through the first half looking forward to seeing this second half i think there's certainly a want for victory a want and a need for victory some teams need this victory reese davis want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 29. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And they make the stop at the 31-yard line. Rose, and he's right there to knock it away. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. It's third and seven. Ball on the 31-yard line. Five wide. He's pushed out of bounds around the 41-yard line. That's a Quick out to his receiver. That brings up second and 13. So it's second and 13. Ball on their own 38. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. They'll spread the field with five wide. Steps out of bounds at the 40-yard line. That's good for a game. That makes it second and six. Quick pass going back to his running back. He's tackled at about the 37-yard line. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Quick throw. That makes it first and ten. I got you, son. I got you, son. Back 22, back 22. Yes, 98 Weasel. Tackled after a decent pickup. That makes it second and six. complete he's got space to work knocked out of bounds at the 16 and this is the 11th play of the current drive 
The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. And he's taken down at the 20-yard line. The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. So it's second and 14. Ball on the 20-yard line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Call it a game of seven yards. Third down. Check, 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 check. Mike 22, he's coming. 22, he's coming. Mike, Mike. Mike, easy, easy, easy. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. The Tigers are looking for some new players to step up this season, Herbie. And, you know, every team needs a new star to be born year in and year out because you lose a fifth of your roster to graduation every year. And he's tackled at the four. That was a loss of two yards. That brings up second and goal. And this is the 15th play of a very solid drive. Tackle around the four-yard line. Should be an easy field goal. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. He gets it up, and it's good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Moore gets set to kick this one away. Excellent kick. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. LSU with a six-point lead. Here we go. They'll bring him down at the 20. Second and nine. Ball on their own 20. He's taken down around the 35-yard line. Field. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. Makes it out to about the 36. Gains his way to the 26 yard line. Call the gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. Hang on tight, folks. We head to the fourth quarter in what could be a shocker. 16-10, LSU.
into the fourth quarter now. And we're back to the action. LSU up six. He takes it right side for a good game. From the 22-yard line, first down. Up the middle for a nice game. That's a game of six on the ball. That'll make it second and four. And this play is number eight on the drive. First and ten. Ball on the 12-yard line. He tackles him for a loss. Call a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. And they're looking to get two points here. to complete a pass for three yards. But being in front of the end zone with points on the line makes it a much tougher proposition. Brown is lined up to kick this one off. Broussard fields at the goal line. Oh, he got nailed on that. LSU's defense, they've got the it factor. The it factor, the swagger, whatever you want to call it. When they take the field, they know they're better than you. And as a group of 11, they play like they know they're going to stop you. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. He makes it to the 25-yard line. it up the gut. That's a great tackle at the 28-yard line. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Got a man. Watch out here. And he is drilled at the 45-yard line. That was actually pretty good defense. But a great pass and a great catch were enough to overcome it. Brought down around the 47-yard line. At the 47-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Just under three to go. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Sure, it's disappointing, but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And this crowd is going absolutely crazy. Quick pass. They'll get two on that one. The offense is trying to get the ball into the hands of the halfback here, and he did a pretty good job of getting a few yards. But the defense was just swarming to the ball right there. Nice run up the middle. Gain of five yards. That makes it first and ten. 
Check curls, check curls, check curls. Ready! Check, check, check. Easy, easy, easy. Block two. Slings it. And down he goes. Around the 24-yard line. Jackson on the tackle at the 24-yard line. First down. Roger, Roger. Like 22, he's coming. Ready! Easy, easy, easy. Lucky 95. And here's a quick throw. And he tackles him hard at the four-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Last 22, back 22. He came down with it. Touchdown. Missouri's been telling anybody that would listen that this kid really has what it takes to be a star. And he's always going to remember that first touchdown. I'm sure he's going to have a lot more. Great moment, though, for him and his family. And he tacks on the extra point. A 10-play, 76-yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. Down he goes to 37 yard line. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Takes a hand up, but brought down before he could go anywhere. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. Missouri just took their first time out from the 38-yard line. Second down. Nice run, and he's brought down. Irby gets six yards on the carry. Well, the Tigers use their second timeout. stopped in his tracks. Hale picks up about five yards on that hookup. The Tigers, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Makes it to the 17. Now the defense knew that this offense was trying to work the clock. When you want to work the clock, you're going to run the football. It puts a lot of pressure on the offensive line to get low and drive that defensive line back. And that's what they were able to do there to give the running back enough room to pick up that first down. He gets out to about the eight. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Ready! Three, 19! And they get nice yardage on that run. So this one's in the books, and we saw a great one here today. LSU, 22, Missouri, 17. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.